friends welcome to bank exam cafe and in today's episode we are going to discuss one more case study based question on the topic lines and angles from class 9 this is the episode number 6 and previously we have uploaded five episodes and the links of all these five episodes are given in the description box you can click each one and watch all the five case study based question episodes before starting the discussion i request you to join the telegram channel where i regularly put the mcq questions on maths as well as science so to solve these maths and science mcq questions which will be asked in the term 1 so it is very essential to do this and so join the telegram channel now let us see the first question so here is the question that in game period the teacher of public school decided to play the puzzle game for this game firstly the teacher draw geometrical figures on the ground which is shown as below here l is parallel to m it is given that this l line is parallel to m these two are parallel and q is a transversal this is the q and this q is transversal of l and m which are parallel lines while drawing this figure the teacher have no skill for the measuring of this length but they know the side which is opposite to the smallest angle is smaller and the side uh, which is opposite to the largest angle is larger in this game the teacher invite the two students viki and vishal and said them that viki stands at point a viki stands at point a and vishal stands on point b this is the point b where vishal stands assume that both have same space for walking and you have to answer the following questions based on the above data now friends let us move to the first question what is the first question what is the angle abd what is the measure of the angle abd here the angle a a is a b d so this angle we have to find it is very simple so we have to find this angle friends we know that this is a linear pair this forms a linear pair and the sum of the linear pair is always 180 degree so you can find this angle abd orally there is no need to do the calculation because the sum is 180 degree and this is 110 so this angle will be 70 degree and so the correct option is a option that is 70 degree okay now this you can solve if you have to solve you can solve as that d angle dbe plus angle dba is equal to 180 this angle is 110 so uh, therefore the shifting 110 to other side it will be 180 minus 110 so that will be 70 degree so the a option is the correct option now move to the second question second question is that what is the measure of angle theta 1 this is the angle theta 1 in the previous question we have got this angle at 70 degree now here you can solve this by two ways here you can apply the angle triangle abd this is triangle abd and you know that the sum of the three angles of the triangle is 180 degree so you can solve it at 70 degree plus 30 degree plus theta 1 that is equal to 180 degree the sum of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree so 70 plus 30 is 100 take 100 to the other side so theta is equal to 180 minus 100 and so that is equal to 80 degree so the correct option is the b option that is 80 degree now friends 
you can find it by other way also by using the exterior angle theorem you have studied this exterior angle theorem now this is the exterior angle this ab this ab side is produced to e and this has become the exterior angle and we know that the exterior angle equals to the sum of the uh, interior opposite angle this is the interior angle and its opposite angles are theta 1 and 30 degree so this exterior angle is always equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles means it is equal to the sum of these two angles so you can write it as exterior angle that is 110 that is equal to sum of these two angles that is theta 1 plus 30 if you take 30 to this side, you will get theta 1 which is equal to 110 minus 30. So, 110 minus 30 that is 80. So, the correct option is 80 degree that is B option is the correct option. These are the ways here you can apply different rules and find the answer. You can solve it in very different ways also. Here I have explained you two ways. You can find the other ways also but provided the rules you are using that are that should be mathematically correct. Now let us move to the third question. The third question is that find the measure of angle theta 2. Theta 2 angle you have to find. Here this is the angle theta 2. Okay. Now we know that this M and L these two are the parallel lines correct this is L and this M these are two parallels and this is the transversal and therefore these two angles these two angles are interior angles which are on the same side of the transversal so both are on the same this is the transversal so this angle is on the right hand side and this angle is on also on the right hand side and therefore both are on the same side of the transversal and both are interior angles and the, that two angles are supplementary that also we know this is the very basic concept that the interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary it means their sum is 180 degree so this angle plus this angle is equal to 180 degree so 110 plus theta 2 which is equal to 180 degree take 110 to other side so you will get theta 2 that is equal to 180 minus 110 so which is equal to 70 degree so here this B option will be the correct option 70 degree okay you need not to do, do this calculation if you can do it in your mind so orally you can do this total is 180 degree when this is 110 this should be 70 so that the total will be 180 degrees now move to the next question this is the next question find the angle theta 3 so this is the angle theta 3 correct you have to find this angle theta 3 this you can find in different ways here this angle you have got at 70 degree this angle you have got at 80 degree and this angle you have got at 70 degree now you can find this in different way i show you one or two ways how to find this angle measure of angle theta 3 okay so here we know that this m and l these two are the parallel lines l and m are parallel lines and this q is a transversal this is given so this angle correct i take another color so this angle and this angle are the interior alternate interior angles these two are the alternate interior angles correct these two are parallel line this Q is a transversal so these two are the alternate interior angles and we know that alternate interior angles are equal and therefore this angle will be 80 degree this angle and this angle these two are the vertically opposite angles and we know vertically opposite angles are also equal so theta 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 3 is also 80 degree correct now here we can find it in a different way that this is a linear pair correct this is a linear pair so 30 degree plus 70 degree plus theta 3 30 degree plus 70 degree plus theta 3 that is equal to 180 degree because this complete 
this angle this is what it is 180 degree because this is a linear pair so theta 30 degree plus theta 2 plus theta 3 that is equal to 180 degree 30 plus uh, 70 that is 100 take 100 to other side so it will be theta 3 that is equal to 180 minus 100 and so which is equal to 80 degree so other way also we have got this angle as 80 degree so you can find this by another ways also so here we will move to the next question the next question is that measure of the angle GAD measure of the angle G a D this angle we have to find G A D it is very simple we have got this angle at 70 degree this is 30 degree and theta 1 we got as 80 degree since this we have got as 80 degree this is the linear pair this is the linear pair and since this is the linear pair sum of these two angles should be 180 degree out of that one is 80 degree so other angle will be 100 degree so other will be 100 degree so that the sum of these two angles will be 180 degrees and so this angle GAD that is equal to 100 degree so the option A is the correct option that angle GAD which is equal to 100 degrees so friends here we have solved all the five questions of this case study based question so i hope you must have enjoyed this so please like the video share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get the notification of newly uploaded video and you will not miss any of the video so please subscribe the channel share it with your friends and like the video thank you very much for watching this video